Hi, my September 3rd birthday babies. Come on in, because this video is all about you. Today, from the Secret Language of Birthdays book, I'm going to be reading you the personality profile for people born on your birthday. Now, this may reaffirm some beliefs you already have about yourself, or it may challenge you to break some of those habits that do not work for your best good. Either way, all I ask is that you be open to it. You can even close your eyes. And in the end, I'm going to give you advice specifically for people born on your birthday. So let's get into it. All right. So September 3rd is the day of the mold breakers. People born on September 3rd are not always what they seem. Because others so often misread their nature and potentials, those born on this day may be forced to play roles in life which although not always disagreeable, are not exactly what they want either. Though September 3rd people are generally multi-talented, often one of their attributes is appreciated at the expense of the rest. Physical beauty in September 3rd females is a case in point. Because of good looks, their often fine qualities, I'm sorry, their other fine qualities may go unrecognized. Men born on this day tend to be mistaken by others for an easy touch or pigeonholed by career or family status. Although they can impress others as quiet and tractable, no one who has ever tried to take advantage of a September 3rd person will forget the result. Those born on this day have a steel-like armor that seals them off from all forms of flattery and vampirism. They may appear gentle, even a bit soft, but they will insist on being treated honorably and fairly and vigorously resist efforts to push them around. Because their work is often of a visionary nature, exceptional people born on this day can be way ahead of their time and must understand if others are sometimes slow to approve of their methods. Fortunately, most of these mold breakers display great patience as well as confidence in the value of their work. Thus, they are well equipped to endure years without recognition while continuing on their endeavors. Their path to wider acceptance can be made smoother, however, if they take the time to explain to others in everyday language what their objectives are and how they intend to get there. September 3rd people of all abilities gravitate to action and controversy. They are often quite rebellious against the systems in which they must operate, particularly when they feel misunderstood. Both their buoyant optimism and their temperamental nature have to be kept under control. Developing emotional consistency and strong willpower is essential for their success in life. In regard to matters of love and friendship, September 3rd people often display a markedly stoic attitude. Here they run two dangers. First, giving those close to them the impression that they don't care. And second, procrastinating when decisive action is needed. By being too accepting, they may compromise themselves in romantic affairs and let certain important life choices slip away. The greatest challenge for September 3rd people is in being more open with others and fearlessly confronting self-doubts. They should put their high moral code and sense of justice to work in defense of those who need help rather than being defensive about what they perceive as criticism directed against themselves. And those born on this day, if those born on this day can discover and cultivate the best in themselves and diplomatically but firmly insist on the world taking notice of it, they will be better able to gain acceptance for their novel ideas and efforts all right that was um a pretty broad uh personality profile um some of the profiles tend to focus on one specific aspect of the person's life but i feel like this really talked about all aspects of your life and i'm really curious what struck a chord with you uh something that that really hit home for me was this uh phrase, uh, their path to wider acceptance can be made a bit smoother, however, if they take the time to explain to others in everyday language what their objectives are and how they intend to get there. 
Uh, now this this has been a struggle for me as well. Um, I'm an introvert. I tend to be kind of a lone wolf as well. So sometimes my ideas would make sense to me in my head, but when I tried to explain them to others, um, they seemed a little um, confusing and my language was a little superfluous at times. So what I found is actually pulling out the camera. So if this is something you struggle with, just pull out your camera on your phone and set it up as if you were talking to someone else. And if you feel like something, uh, some message that you try to convey to other people is not getting through and is not clear, um, do this as a practice. Pretend that you're talking to someone else. Keep ironing out your ideas with this um, practice of having you as your mirror. Um, believe me, it's really worked wonders for, for, again, like I said, somebody who tends to keep to themselves, kind of be a little bit like in their head in order to get things to be smoother and to get people on board with your visions and your ideas, you need to be able to communicate them, again, in everyday language. So pretend, pretend like you're just talking to a friend or, you know, someone you've sat next to at a bar, but use your camera and l let it run because you might actually find that you have breakthroughs and then you have it recorded on the video, the breakthrough that you had. So that's just my own little spiel there. But let's give you a little bit of advice before we go. Actively seek to do what you really want to do. Develop your self-confidence and assertiveness. Don't be afraid to fail. Try not to cultivate too much mystery around what you do. Take the time to explain your methods and motives to others. You see, it's right there, right in the advice. Um, but anyway, if you are watching this on your actual birthday, cheers to you. Happy birthday. And if you know someone whose birthday is coming up and their video is not done yet, comment below so that I can give them a shout out on their video. Or if their video is done, share the link with them, tag them so that they can be on this path of self-exploration and personal development with you. So thank you so much for watching. Take care.